Hello, good day, my dear students of Research 2. Welcome to another video lesson in uh, Research 2, of course. So, uh, our topic for today is all about Regeneron ISEF International Science and Engineering Fair Rules and Guidelines. So, uh, this topic will... Uh, our objectives for this topic will be, of course, to di discuss the ethics of uh, pre-college science research and uh, the specific guidelines for science and engineering fairs in uh, division, regional, and science uh, and national science technology fair, and even in international science technology fair. Next. So the purpose of these rules okay, is to protect the rights and welfare of the student researcher, protect the rights and welfare of human participants, protect the health and welfare of vertebrate animal subjects, protect the and promote good stewardship of in the of the environment and to ensure adherence to federal regulations ensure use of safe laboratory practices and determine eligibility for competition in ISEF okay so the ISEF or uh, Regeneron ISEF rules and guidelines is uh, formulated for this following purpose here okay next ethics statement so uh, I have already uploaded the the soft copy of this uh, presentation or the reference the Intel ISAF rules and guidelines 2021 so uh, it's stated there the state ethics statement for this uh, Intel ISEF or Regeneron ISEF integrity okay. legality respect for confidentiality and intellectual property stewardship of the environment okay. acknowledgement of risk animal care human participant protection and potentially hazardous biological agents so uh, what do you mean by this ethics statement uh, let's just remember that you're going to to plan to conduct and to evaluate our research project we will align it to these uh, following statements here say for example let's just uh, mention one oh? respect for confidentiality and intellectual property so uh, as a group or individually you should have considered the this factor here uh, for confidentiality uh, it means uh, that if ever you have human subject uh, their identity will not be revealed and intellectual property uh, it means that you your idea should uh, May, uh, of course it comes from uh, any other uh, sources so you have to acknowledge them and properly uh, cite them in your research project and the rest will follow we will not discuss that uh, individually next scientific uh, scientific fraud and misconduct are not condoned at any level of research or competition this includes plagiarism, forgery, use or presentation of other researchers' work as one's own, and fabrication of data. Fraudulent projects will fail to qualify for competition in affiliated fairs and ISEF. We have discussed this already. Uh, uh, w we will stress this uh, last statement here. When you say affiliated fairs, it means it includes our uh, local science fairs like school level, engineering science fairs, uh, science and 
engineering science fairs up to uh, division level regional and uh, national science and technology fair ISF that's international science and Eng engineering fair okay next eligibility and limitations so a student must be selected by an ISF ISF affiliated fair and meet both of the following letter A be in grades 9 to 12 or equivalent so for you my dear students you are not uh, yet eligible for an, uh, an inter ISF participation or even in the local uh, my local uh, science and technology fair participations so what we are doing now is uh, we are preparing you for your for the next year which is grade 9 or 10 up to 12 of uh, making your research project next and B not have reached age 20 on or before May 1 preceding ISEF okay so ibig sabihin ay uh, under 20 ka pa on uh, May 1 but again uh, in letter A, you are already uh, ineligible, so yeah, this is addressed to grade nines to senior high school. Team projects must have no more than three members. Teams competing at ISEF must be composed of the original members who competed at the Intel affiliated Intel ISEF, uh, ISEF affiliated fair. So, uh, if you are planning in your grade 9 to form members or a group, so take note, our groups will only be limited to 3 members, not more, not more than 3 members. And, again, so no switching of members uh, during uh, competitions, whatever uh, the members who conceptualize the research project will uh, still be the members who will present that into uh, affiliated fair by ISEF like uh, division level, regional level, science and technology fair and so with national level rules and responsibilities of students so this is your uh, because in your grade 9 you are already uh, uh, expected to make a research project so this will be your rule, role and responsibilities enlisting the aid of any required super supervisory adults okay so we have adult sponsor qualified scientist etc and obtaining necessary approvals from SRC RIB and etc so uh, once you are doing your research already I mean, uh, by now you're you're still planning to do your research. Take note that you should have an adult sponsor, and you should have also a qualified scientist. Okay, and any other uh, uh, any other competent person to supervise you in doing your research, and also you need the approval of the of your research proposal is subject to approval of the following committee S SRC or scientific review committee of the school RIB or institutional review board etc no? next following the international rules and guidelines and obtaining all necessary approvals such as SRC RIB etc and completing all re appropriate documentation so this is also your uh, responsibility okay you follow the rules and guidelines and complete or all appropriate appropriate documentation so uh, when you say documentation there it refers to uh, data logbook 
laboratory lab book no lab notebook laboratory notebook uh, what what else necessary forms for to comply no we will discuss it as we go along in our topic next of course it is your responsibility to uh, perform the project or performing the project which may may include but is not limited to experimentation data collection engineering data analysis and any other process or procedures related to the project and also uh, understanding and abiding by the ethics statement that we have mentioned earlier and attesting to this understanding on approval form 1b so again do those are your roles and responsibilities as a student researcher these now these are no? next adult uh, roles and responsibilities so again as a student researcher uh, you you are not allowed to do your research by by your own no so you have your yeah, adult uh, supervi supervisors or should be accompanied by adults so what are those uh, adult or qualified uh, competent uh, adults no we have adult sponsor qualified scientist designated supervisor institutional review board scientific review committee okay so uh, let's get to know them no an adult sponsor is the one who oversees project to make sure that the student that student is informed of ISEF, ISEF rules and guidelines is aware of risk associated with project is aware of forms required for project is provided proper supervision during experimentation and if required submits project to IRB or SRC so who can be your adult sponsor teachers usually serves as adult sponsor so that may be your assigned research advisor or your research teacher in the future next ah, 